The New York City Climate Justice Youth Summit has definitely impacted the way I view things um, with the activities that are going on throughout the day. Uh, you are able to hear stories from, uh, from many different people from many different communities. And it's kind of inspiring to me. Um, it kind of motivates me to see that, you know, you're not the only one doing work, you know. Of course, you see a lot of people that have a few years now. So it's important because look at Katrina, right, 10 years ago. And you see Katrina hit um, the CFR. So you see how police react to those situations. They act with violence. They act with the police side. And they react with that way because they're not trained to deal with environmental justice issues, with climate justice issues. They're not trained to deal with those type of problems. When it gets, like, it, when it gets hotter, it's like, Statistics show that in winter time, it's not as the same thing. It's not like the same high percentage that how cops would, um, the police would come out and stop and frisk or stop and search or do whatever they want to do. Um, it's more percentage in the summertime because most of the summertime we're out having fun. We're trying to go out, we're, you know, on our way to work. And for them, from their point of view, it's more like they're outside. They're in front of their building. They're outside with their family at the corner store because it's more hot. So they feel that in the summertime, that's where they get more of their, I call it quotas. That's where they get more of their quotas, and that's where they get more of their summings and their tickets and more stuff like that because it's summertime. People who are not people of color are organizing, they're learning, they're taking classes, they're learning about climate change. And you know who's been left out of the leadership table? You have. So today, you need to show by example that leadership is not important to you. And you show leadership by how you step into the room and into the space. I'm a person who deals with uh, asthma. I noticed that in my community, which I consider a poor, low-income community of color, deals uh, with different environmental burdens that more privileged communities will never see. And I believe that um, it's a big deal for young people to step up and start fighting um, for climate justice. It was last year when we launched our Safe Indigenous Youth Climate Network, um, which is the organization that I now run. And so we now support um, indigenous young people from all across the country to be leading this fight. And one of the biggest campaigns that we've been running over the last couple of years um, is to stop what um, could be one of the biggest coal projects in the entire world. Um, in Queensland and Australia, there's a proposal to currently build um, a huge mega mine um, in the Galilean Basin, which is one of the biggest coal reserves in the world. And in order to do that, they would need to build not only the mine, but a railway line out to the coast of um, Australia and expand coal ports on the Great Barrier Reef. We're wasting so much water already. 2.75% of our water is usable. Everything else is salt water and we can't use it. So we can't afford to waste anymore. So we're going to use grain and that's going to represent us sowing seeds back into Mother Earth. Okay, so we're giving back to her since she gives so much to us. And the community says, Ashe. So it helps the lemon balm helps decrease your anxiety. You are the most knowledgeable person about your body. So you need to remember that. So you ask questions, always ask for alternatives. Don't don't settle for any medication because now they don't care how old you are, they will give you a medication for anything. So you always want to find the natural way of healing your body. And now, you start to realize something, you know, now it's confirmed that climate change is there. It's not a myth. We're living in it. Now that people understand that, we're at this point where we're hanging on a long little strand that we have to figure out. So we're feeling the pressure, but that doesn't mean we need to stop. It doesn't mean we're getting 